In this video, we'll look into five fields that are similar to biotechnology, but are definitely different in their focus, their application areas, and their objectives. I'll try to explain how these fields are different with the help of some examples, and in what sense are these fields different than biotechnology. All these fields have a lot of intersection with one another due to the common knowledge of biology, chemistry, and the technological methods which are applied with, within each field. Due to the advances in technology, many of these fields with a lot of similarities have their own focus, which despite all the similarities, sets them apart from one another. Now let's look into these five fields that I've chosen for this video. The first one we have is technical biology. Technical biology and biotechnology are closely related, but distinct fields of study. Now let's dive a little bit deeper into these two fields and see what the differences between these two are. The first difference within these two is their focus and objectives. Biotechnology, as we all know, is centered around harnessing biological systems, organisms, or processes to develop useful products or systems. These may include medications, bioenergy, food additives, eco-friendly material, and etc. Biotechnology often involves targeted manipulation of genes and proteins. Technical biology, on the other hand, refers to the applications of engineering principles to biological systems, which actually is a little bit similar to biotechnology, but its primary goal is to understand, to create models, to improve or to make technical solutions. This can encompass the development of computer-based models, process optimization, and the applications of controlled engineering of biological systems. And the use of computer models in technical biology is a little bit higher, I would say. These models help us understand how something would react if we bioengineer it in a certain way. Biotechnological approaches can involve genetic manipulation, cell culture techniques, and fermentation, protein purification, and modification, etc. The emphasis is often on developing new products or therapies in biotechnology. In technical biology, we make models and optimize metabolic pathways. This may entail the development of mathematical models, simulations, and computer-based approaches to optimize biological processes. And I would say that technical biology has a narrower focus compared to biotechnology. This can be confusing, so if there are any questions, let me know in the comments section or just search technical biology versus biotechnology on Google. The second similar field to biotechnology is medical technology. Medical technology, just like technical biology, is a distinct field with specific focus and applications within the healthcare and life sciences fields. So how does medical technology differ from biotechnology? The first difference that we have is the nature of their focus. This field primarily revolves around the development and application of devices, equipment, technologies used in medical diagnostics, treatment, and patient care, basically. Medical technology includes items like medical imaging, equipment, surgical instruments, prosthetics, and medical monitoring devices. The products made from this field aid in diagnosing medical conditions, performing surgeries, managing patient data, and monitoring health parameters. So basically, medical technology makes devices for hospitals for patient care. And this field relies heavily on engineering principles and often involves electronics, mechanics, and material sciences. It emphasizes on creating practical solutions for medical professionals to use in hospitals, let's say, for doctors, basically. But still, the understanding of basic biology is also important in medical technology. So what are some basic examples of medical technology? As I mentioned earlier, the devices in hospitals like X-ray machines, MRI scanners, pacemakers, insulin pumps, and robotic surgical systems for today's hospitals. In essence, while both medical technology and biotechnology contribute to advancements in healthcare and other industries, they differ in their primary focuses. Medical technology centers around creating tools and equipment for medical professionals like doctors and whatever, while biotechnology revolves around leveraging biological systems for a wide range of products, but biotechnological products, as we all know, can include medicine, vaccines, or whatever, and not just devices like in medical technology. So 
So the third field that is similar to biotechnology is biomolecular engineering. And again, this field also differs in its main focus and approach to biotechnology. Here's how it's different. If you look at the scope and focus of biomedical engineering, you will see that this field emphasizes especially on the design and analysis of manipulation of biomolecules such as proteins, nucleic acid or oligosaccharides and, and other synthetic biomolecules. It aims to understand and engineer the fundamental interactions and properties of these macromolecules to create new functionalities or applications in different fields. Biomolecular engineering involves the techniques from fields such as protein engineering, genetic engineering and molecular biology. It focuses on modifying and optimizing these biomolecules for specific purposes like designing enzymes with novel functions or creating synthetic DNA constructs. It often operates at molecular and cellular levels, focusing precisely on molecular interaction and modification. So basically it centers around creating biomolecules with tailored properties, which can have applications in drug development, enzyme technology, biofuel production, and you know, wherever possible, basically. But most of bioengineering products are used in medical or diagnostic fields because the products that we make are basically macromolecules. While biotechnology, on the other hand, we know has a really broader range of applications and techniques. And these two also have a lot of intersections, so it can be confusing. But if you have any questions, just let me know in the comments section or just search the comparisons between these two fields. On number four, we have biomedical sciences. I think most of you are familiar with this field, but this field also has a lot of intersection with biotechnology. So let me explain how biomedical science differs from biotechnology in its focus and objectives. Biomedical science is primarily concerned with understanding the mechanisms of human health, diseases at molecular, cellular, and physiological level. The focus of biomedical science basically lies in the diagnostic methods or the causes of diseases, we can say, and the development of treatment and therapies for these diseases. Biomedical scientists engage in fundamental research to expand the knowledge of biological processes and diseases, which helps us understand the causes of diseases and the development of potential treatment for these diseases. Like a doctor diagnoses a person with a disease, but biomedical scientists are those who did the research and who found out about the disease in that person. And no, biomedical scientists do not work at hospitals. I mean, they work at hospitals, but for research purposes, they're not MDs, they're not medical doctors, but they help medical doctors to understand the causes of diseases in humans, let's say. And biomedical science often involves studying biological processes, genetics, cell biology, immunology, and it has a lot of focus in immunology. The findings from biomedical scientists contribute to medical knowledge, disease understanding, and development of potential therapies for several diseases. It plays a crucial role in advancing medical treatments and improving healthcare. So what kind of products do biomedical scientists make? Typical products like different antibodies, growth hormones for therapeutics, and some medical devices are all achievements from biomedical scientists. Now let's compare biomedical scientists to biotechnologists. While both biotechnologists and biomedical scientists contribute to advancements in healthcare and science, biomedical scientists primarily focus on understanding human health and diseases. Whereas biotechnologists produce or make products and systems that can be used in hospitals for healthcare purposes, for industrial purposes, and a lot of different products, which we have mentioned many times over on this channel. But still, if you have any questions, just let me know in the comments section. So for number five, we can actually take any field within biotechnology or any subfield within a field of biotechnology. For example, pharma biotech, industrial biotech, agricultural biotech, or any other biotechnological field can be taken in this field. Because of course, you can study just biotechnology, but you also can focus from the beginning, like you can have your undergrads program focused on a specific biotechnological subfield. For example, a lot of people start their studies in pharma biotech or industrial biotech, 
And there are a lot of companies that specifically focus on one field within biotechnology. And in that case, the focus and approach to the field is very specialized. That has a lot of similarities with biotechnology, of course, because it is biotechnology. But to utilize biotechnology in a specific field is different. And as I mentioned here, you can take all the subfields within biotechnology. But let's just take one specific subfield within biotechnology. Let's take bioprocess technology, for instance. If you compare bioprocess technology to traditional biotechnology, they are really closely related. They do have different focuses and applications within the broader realm of sciences and industry. So bioprocess technology specifically emphasizes on the design, the development and optimization of processes for production of biological products such as pharmaceuticals, enzymes, chemicals or biofuels. It involves the engineering and scaling up of biological processes to achieve efficient and cost-effective production basically. And basic examples of methods used in bioprocess technology include fermentation, downstreaming process, upstreaming and quality control for instance. So bioprocess technologists are basically biotechnologists that work in industries that involve large scale production and process optimization, quality assurance of biological derived products at a very big scale. While biotechnology in general encompasses a broader range of applications and techniques that revolve around using biological systems or organisms to make products. So you can say that bioprocess technology is a specific subset or subfield within biotechnology. Now some general remarks about all these fields that I just mentioned. They all have similarities with biotechnology, but they definitely are different in their focus, their applications, and the products made from each of these fields are at the end a little bit different from one another. So all these fields, as you guys saw, have similarities with biotechnology due to the similarities in biology, chemistry, and technology. And of course, the degree of each individual discipline in these specific fields is a little bit different from one another. So if you guys have any questions, just let me know in the comments section. I hope you got some sort of value from this video. And if you did, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next video.